First off, start it up. Rev it. Give me the old Italian tune-up. I'm not going to buy a car. I'm not going to buy a car. I'm up. Oh, I'm not going to buy a car. Definitely not going to buy a car. I'm gonna go buy a car. All right, we are pulling up. Let's see what else is in the driveway. Usually, like you can get a good feel for how a car is by seeing see an Ultima, see a was it a QX50 or a Q50, and then it uh, looks like a 550 maybe. So yeah, just pull up over there. All right, going in. Okay, we're in it. This is good. The AC is blowing cold. It looks good. I've got a little bit of a laggard. Oh, hear that? Oh, a wine in the line, maybe? Not bad. Oh man. But it's uh, it's it's driving, it's running and driving. Yeah, no, this feels fine. Because the, the so the cats are loose. It's got an exhaust leak. Remember how loud my other one was? This one's not so bad. It's just a lag in the power steering. Which, you know, I could just fill her all the way up with stop leak and howdy. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think I'm sold. It even has an almost full tank of gas. What do you think? <laughs> this is hilarious. So this car is 600 bucks. I mean, I'm cheating a little bit, but I think this is a pretty usable, pretty usable rig. Um, and I think this is an XC. I, I don't. Even, I don't even remember what the ad said. Um, so it's all-wheel drive. I'm sure the transfer case is probably not in the best condition. But let me jump out and just do a quick walkthrough. He also just replaced the timing belt. There's a sticker on the front. Oh yeah, that's not great. All right. But look at that. It's got fresh meats on her, clear lights, a little dirty, a little slightly lifted XC all-wheel drive. Man, I might have, I might be winning this, guys. Let's go do the deal. Oh, 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 oh. Got him, man! I got fuel. I got cold AC. I've got radio. I've got that. <laughs> I've got a new windshield. The timing belt says it was replaced uh, by Import Auto House uh, like a thousand miles ago. Uh, again, I might have already said it. I put my you know hand over the oil cap. Didn't feel like there was any blow by. It cruises wonderfully. It's a little, little slightly vague steering, but I think the all wheel drive system is still intact. So I, uh, I can't wait to kind of get this back and check it out. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty stoked, guys. This uh, this is what makes us doing these challenges pretty fun. I've been uh, three for three with Volvo wagons, and uh, I might be able to do a, a three for. So let me. Uh, I'll check back once we uh, get on the open road here. All right, beans. Woo! Shoo! Oh man, I'm going through a crisis here. I mean, this is this is too good. I, I don't even hear any like suspension clunks or anything. I'm gonna run. A, I forgot to run a Carfax. I should have done that uh, while I was looking at. It, but I was. I was thinking I was too excited um, because man, it is. I don't really find a whole lot wrong with it. Honestly, it takes the fun out of it. Uh, I'm gonna go up here. Hold on a second. Handling test. still going but uh it appears that i've lost air conditioning <laughs> air conditioning down i uh it was cold and now it is not interesting well that's uh it's okay we'll just carry on but we're going 60 smooth again new tires guys new tires remember that uh let's see we got 70 still smooth buddy this is smoother than most of my legitimate cars 
80. Oh yeah, we're rock. We're rock solid. God, there. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm gonna restart this AC and see if I can make it come back to life. All right, so I gotta find a place to leave this thing because uh, I'm full. <laughs> I just ran the Carfax though, real quick. All right, here's here's the breakdown. Eight owners. Eight owners. Uh, looks like he bought it in March and then brought it somewhere, and they said something about it needed something, and I don't know if he gave up on it or not, but looks like he might have gave up on it but i don't i don't really see the the major concern um seems all right to me uh it also says it's a turbo which i didn't, I didn't really feel a whole lot of turbo shove i don't i can't remember if this is a 2.4 or a 2.5 it would be a 2.5 i believe if it was a turbo um but it's uh let's see i guess i can kind of usually I don't know. Maybe I gotta look in the engine bay again. There might be a little turbo in there somewhere, but it doesn't move the car all that well. Uh, these are big, heavy, big, heavy cars, um, and especially with uh, the all-wheel drive system, whether it's a Halidex or whatever the Volvo used at the time, you know, it doesn't transfer power in a very abrupt manner. So the shove factor is not super great, but it's uh, it's not too terrible. So yeah, that's a quick rundown. We'll do some more content on this. But I already go hide it away somewhere and uh you know there's always deals still out there so this is going to be the cheap car challenge car or gambler i mean it is all-wheel drive I mean, this is this is what the this is what you want to find and what you what you're looking for oh, a little bit of power steering lock up there that was fun <laughs> um but yeah this thing might deserve to live a different life so we'll, we'll see where it goes All right, so it's day two. Uh, I've taken a breather. Now, I wanted to kind of go through this a little bit slower um, now that the adrenaline of the new car purchase has worn off a little bit. So let's take a walk around this thing um, a little slower than I think we did yesterday. And let's, uh, you know, I, I started to think about it. I, I didn't even park the car at my house last night, so I didn't even have time to tinker with it. But now I'm looking at it, and I think, you know, this thing is in much better condition cosmetically and visually than I realized. Um, it has the, it's an 01, so I got that figured out. And a 2.4 turbo, apparently. Um, so I'll have to double check that for the most part. But, you know, it's a, uh, it's an XC70. Um, it's got glass headlights, got the little faux uh, skid plate on there. Um, really nice dark blue color. Check these tires. I pointed them out yesterday, but I didn't really get the date stamp on them. 18. So we got date stamp 18 tires on there. Um, just a quick walk around. I looked under it. It didn't, wasn't very rusty. <sighs> Pretty clean under that part as well. I just washed it off quickly. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna have to hit this side again. So yeah, V70 XC, all-wheel drive, fairly rust-free. That oh, was a lot. Unlocked. Let's uh, see what we got going on here. Look at that. Pretty, uh, what is that to? Huh. All right, well, I'm going to leave that be for now. Um, oh, oh, it's a speaker. Let's see what we got in here. Not much. Some remnants. <laughs> uh, and what's under this? Oh, look, we do have a spare tire. That's good. It's something I never really check and always forget to check. But this is nice ish. So I have the, uh, the cargo piece, 12 volt outlet. Uh, 
Jump in the back seat, still have the factory mats. Uh, any treasures? Besides some stains, not really. Gloves, huh, gloves are good, biking gloves. I'll take those. <laughs> oh, sunroof, power windows. <sighs> Driver's seat's not too ripped up. Um, yeah, it's all there. Bunch of extra lights, because that seems to go out a lot. Pop the, but no surprises, nothing, nothing crazy. Just normal car stuff. And then back to the front, uh, looks like it's got oil in it. Um, and a timing belt that's been changed at some point. Next thing we're gonna do is top up the power steering fluid to see if that helps the wine and spray the knuckle or the U-joint uh, back there, because apparently that can get seized up. It might be a part of why I've got some of the hardened steering, but this is the 2.4, 2.5 turbo. I forgot, I mean, here's your turbo charger tube, where the hell it is. Um, so yeah, it's a turbo. Obviously I don't have hood struts. Uh, it's not very quick, but uh, it's pretty neat. Um, that's it, I think for now. I'm gonna use my two favorite tools here, some PB blaster and some stop leak and see if that fixes us up and uh maybe probably call it a day on this one so it's a little low but i'm just gonna you know top her off just add a little bit not a lot you know you don't want to overdo it all right just a smidge you know let me uh, let me fix this all right quick. got the safety off there we're just gonna let her eat on that and see if that, uh, you know, solves the problem. All right, and for the last check, let's see what we got going on in here. That's probably the same like blow-by codes every Volvo has. EVAP system, Kelly converter. Ah, those are actually pretty, probably easy to fix, honestly. But we're gonna clear those for now. <laughs> Wild, all right. Check the gas cap, you know, that could be part of it and uh, probably patch up that muffler and I'll be good to go. Nice. So for like no money, I just topped off the power steering fluid and the power steering feels great. Uh, cleared the, uh, cleared the, uh, what should we call it, code? Catalytic converter code, which I'm sure it's probably not stopped up. It's just, you know, has a leak, which I can patch that pretty easily. This probably is not an amazing seal, which could cause the evap leak. Um, most cars I see that have evap leaks are usually that. So I don't know. I feel like this thing's pretty fixed for no money. Just take it for a spin. All right. So power steering much improved. Definitely still needs some sea foam and a little, uh, mass, mass airflow sensor cleaner, you know, good old, a good old tune up. Um, but it's still, it's feeling okay. Got a little, still have a little bit of a clunk. I haven't looked under the car yet. I should probably do that, but I'm not. I'm probably not gonna do that. Huh. Yeah, nothing really much else to report. Let me uh, do what I did yesterday where I kind of felt the steering lock up and yeah, that's pretty smooth. It doesn't feel broken. I mean, it's not great, but it's definitely, uh, Less broken. <laughs> That's funny. You know, the other thing about a Volvo like this is you blend in. And I think that's been my tactic for a cheap car challenge. You know, no one looks looks at you twice. Uh, just an interesting old Volvo wagon. He's not up to no good. And uh, far less chance of getting pulled over or anything when you're doing semi-sketchy car stuff. I feel like the turbo's 
acting a little nicer now. It definitely needs that sea foam. A little happier today. All right, suspension test. Not a great road, but uh, surprisingly smooth. That's great. You know, people always ask you what the first thing you should do when you buy a car. You know, how to get it just just tuned and just dialed in right. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll run through the, the steps real First quick. off, start it up. Rev it. the old Italian tune-up. Next up, you're gonna take a trip to uh, the old auto parts store, get the three amigos. Uno, dos, tres. Every old car leaves power steering fluid for the most part. Um, it's red, so it matches other things. Works every time. Stop slip, of course. Never had an issue with that. And of course, sea foam. You, you just want to get a couple cans of this and just dump it in the engine somewhere. Just pour it all over the place. I just kind of want to let her, let her drink on that. All of it. So I think really the last piece of the puzzle are your friend, Mr. Easy Chill. Get that cold AC going. And your friend, Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner. So we're going to run through both these puppies here and just get this thing purring. So I was gonna try to find the tools for that, but I'm just gonna just give her a healthy healthy dosage right there, and that should that should get her get her angry. It's like shooting some bees. Supply as much as you would, you know, for a bee killer. So the only thing I haven't used is the transmission stop leak, and honestly, I don't even know if it's leaking. I just figured I'd buy it just to have it. Um, it's really annoying on these turbo cars to get to the dipstick to test it because it is I don't think you can't really see it you can just barely see there it is right there all the way down through all those hoses and pipes that's kind of a pain in the ass but you can get to it with the car running you should be able to check the uh, uh be able to check the uh, the color and whatnot and then top it off. And then as it started, you want to finish it. So that usually happens when you spray down the mass, mass airflow sensor a lot. There you go. Just let it think about its life for a second. And that's it. That's how you fix any car with any issue. Done. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something.